Hi guys, this is Rohit Roda from Gizbot and the wait is finally over for Android enthusiasts because Samsung has finally launched the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus in Indian market. Both the smartphone will be available by May 5 and Samsung Galaxy S8 is priced at rupees. 57900 and the S8 plus is priced at rupees 64900 in the Indian market both will be available on Flipkart Samsung's exclusive retail stores and some offline stores across the country uh, you can pre book the smartphone today itself and you will get a Samsung wireless charger at free of cost uh, this is this, uh, especially for users who pre book the smartphones today itself and uh, consumers will also get uh, Reliance Geo double the data offer when you buy the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. So on my left we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 which comes with a 5.8 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display and on the right we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus that comes with a 6.4 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen. The other thing that differentiates both the smartphone is the battery unit. Here we have a 3500 mAh battery unit and on the S8 we have a 3000 mAh battery unit. Both smartphones support wireless charging and besides both look identically similar here we have uh, bezel less almost bezel less uh, design here we have both the smartphones and uh, as you can see Samsung has also changed the launcher on this handset and uh, both runs Android 7.0 Nuga out of the box and comes with a launcher that looks like some pixel from, taken from the Google Pixel smartphone but it's quite fluid and in our short time we haven't noticed any lags however we will tell the complete performance of the smartphones uh, while reviewing the handset in the coming week and uh, the other um, highlight feature of the smartphone is uh, Samsung Bixby which is Samsung's take on Apple Siri, Microsoft Cortana and the Google Assistant. So this uh, Bixby learns over time and improves the performance as you use the smartphone over the time. We will also review the Samsung Bixby performance in real life usage. Um, talking about the uh, hardware, both the smartphones come with Samsung Exynos 8895 chipset which is an octa-core processor and is paired with 4GB of RAM to take care of multitasking. Both the smartphones have 12 megapixel rear camera which is a dual pixel camera and comes with a um, dual LED flashlight. And as you notice, we don't have a fingerprint scanner on the front. For the first time, Samsung has positioned the uh, fingerprint scanner at the rear side, which seems kind of tricky because your hand, your finger needs to reach at this point of the handset, and uh, that makes it a bit tricky to use the handset in real life usage because most of the time consumers will find the their hand coming on the front to unlock the handset. So we will evaluate the ergonomic part as well while reviewing the answer in the coming week. As of now, both the smartphone looks stunning and let me just give you a demo of how the camera works on this handset. So here we have the 12 megapixel camera. Let me just take a shot for you. That's quite uh, quick. So Samsung uh, 12 megapixel camera is not wasting any time in capturing a shot. And as you can see, the clarity, the detailing looks absolutely stunning. Uh, both the smartphone has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Th and uh, let me tell you that both the, uh, the camera sensors come with an aperture size of uh, f1.7. So uh, that takes a lot of light and will shoot quite bright images in daylight and even in low light condition. Um, here we have the camera settings, the usual camera settings that you will get with the Samsung smartphone. So you can shoot Ultra HD that is 4K resolution, you can also shoot Quad HD videos and uh, you can change the picture size besides all other uh, usual camera settings are provided here. And here we have the uh, modes, uh, you can also shoot slow motion, you can shoot pro, you can tweak the ISO, you can tweak the aperture size, autofocus and white balance with pro mode. And uh, both the camera interface and uh, both on both the devices look is identically similar and works quite smoothly and there's no lag as whatsoever while you shoot a picture. We will also review the camera performance in detail in our comprehensive review of both the handsets. Uh, this one really looks quite compact. Uh, let me tell you that this is one of the first smartphone with such 83% body, screen to body ratio. So it is packing a 5.8 inch screen and still is one of the most compact and ergonomic smartphone we have seen in a while and uh, if you really are android fan then these are the best android smartphone that you can buy in the market right now and we will compare it with all the other flagship smartphones in the inner market to give you a full review of the handset 
Um, both the handsets will be available on Flipkart and retail stores across the country at a price point of Rs 57,900 and 64,900 for the S8 Plus. Um, do let us know about how you how you feel about the smartphone and the video and you can subscribe our Gizbot YouTube channel for the latest videos in the world of technology. This is Rohit Aroda signing off from Gizbot. You just saw the first impressions of Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus in the Indian market. Have a good day.